What is the difference between data and information? Data and information are related concepts, but they are not the same thing. Data refers to raw facts and figures that are collected and stored, but have not yet been processed or analyzed in any way. For example, data could be a list of sales figures, the temperature readings taken at regular intervals, or a set of survey responses. Data is objective, unprocessed, and meaningless until it is organized and given context. Information, on the other hand, is data that has been processed and given meaning. For example, a report on sales figures that includes trends, comparisons to previous periods, and projections for the future is information. Information is subjective and can be influenced by the way data is processed, organized, and presented. Data is the starting point for creating information. Data can come from a variety of sources, such as surveys, experiments, transactions, and observations. Data can be quantitative, meaning it consists of numerical values, or qualitative, meaning it consists of non-numerical values. Data can also be structured, meaning it is organized into a well-defined format, such as a database. Data can also be unstructured, meaning it is not easily organized into a specific format, such as text from a social media post. Information, on the other hand, is data that has been processed, analyzed, and given context, making it more meaningful and useful. The process of converting data into information involves several steps, such as 1. Data collection, the first step in creating information is to collect data. This can be done through various methods, such as surveys, experiments, transactions, or observations. 2. Data preparation, the next step is to prepare the data for analysis. This involves cleaning the data to ensure that it is accurate, complete, and consistent, and then organizing the data into a format that makes it easier to analyze. 3. Data analysis. After the data is prepared, it can be analyzed to identify patterns, relationships, and trends. This can involve statistical analysis, machine learning, or other methods. 4. Data interpretation. The final step is to interpret the data, and present it in a way that makes it meaningful and useful. This can involve creating reports, charts, graphs, or other visualizations, or summarizing the results in a written report. In summary, data is the raw material, while information is the processed, organized, and meaningful result of converting that data into a useful form. By transforming data into information, we can make better decisions, understand complex relationships, and communicate insights more effectively. Thanks for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel.